And now it is time to go to the water temple. Um, as you can see off screen, I bought water bombs, which are regular bombs that will now work under water. And I will. Oh, uh, turns out the spirit springs actually restore health. Um, I didn't know they did that, but. I might have known they did that, but I forgot, so that's kind of nice if you need health. Run into a spirit spring. Alright, so with our water bombs, we want to go back to um, where we were last time in the Zora's grave area. And that will lead take us to a shortcut that will lead, a, lead us like... Wow, I'm having trouble talking. That will lead us right to Lake Hylia. So let's go do that. Um, we want to have our water bombs out for this because we will need them and you're going to need to equip your iron boots. But just to show off quickly what um, the Zora's armor does basically let's put it on oh that's funny there's some a bird we can attack but it's outside of the cave here so we can't do anything about it but we can still z-target it so put on your Zora's armor and by pressing A and you can swim throughout the water and not lose air so equip water bombs with your iron boots That'll pull you down. And first blow up this rock. Under this rock, we have a red rupee. Uh, rocks will usually contain money in them. So it's a good idea to blow them up. Uh, let me just swim around a bit to show you. If you keep pressing A, you'll go faster. Also, above the water, we can also swim faster. but let's go back down for now and over by these rocks get out another water bomb and be, be careful that the uh, water bombs explosion doesn't hit you <laughs> that has happened and it will hurt you so that's a real good shortcut to Lake Hylia and you want to aim for the blue or purplish dot sort of in the center and that's the location of the temple it's kinda of interesting that we get to swim through the entire lake so we can see what it all looks like underwater really it looks pretty clean thought there might be more like algae and all that but really there isn't maybe algae doesn't grow in fresh water no that doesn't make sense uh, maybe fresh water is just clean. Is there even, there isn't like an ocean in Hy in Hyrule, there's only a lake. So there aren't, really aren't many sea creatures. Although there will be some sea creatures in this temple that will hurt you. And look over there, that kind of looks like a golden bug, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's actually, if you look closely, it's actually just a couple of barnacles. <laughs> get into the temple come over here take out a bomb place it on that rock oh and if for some reason you ran out of bombs one of the Zoras around here will sell you some more uh... then you want to place another one there the bubbles will take it up it'll explode and that right there is the entrance to the temple Okay. This is kind of like the fiery room in the Goron Mines where you'll appear back here if you reset the game. But, like before, I had tried to play the entire temple in one run, and I did. And I'm going to be trying to do that with all the temples. I did successfully do that this time, although 
I did reset the game once, but on purpose, and you will find out why. Lake Bed Temple. Okay. No, don't go under. Why? Why am I going? Up? I got electrocuted again. Be careful of those jellyfish. They will electrocute you. Okay. Equip a bottle. Right here we have a chew. They're sort of like living goop. Um, you can actually scoop them up in your bottle and get jelly that will restore hearts. Red restores eight. Purple, don't bother with purple because it's unpredictable on what it does. Um, yellow is lantern oil. Blue restores all hearts. And gold, I'll explain what gold does if we ever see a gold. Um, I'm pretty sure there's two chests, although I know I missed one. I'm gonna use my lantern oil, I think. No. I'll probably just manage with one chew. See, there's purple. Purple, I think, will either add hearts or take away. It's random. So, don't even bother with it. Pull down on that. That'll open up the gates to the temple. now we can officially enter all right my thoughts on this temple it's very confusing if you've never played it before and a lot of people really hate it because it's really complicated and confusing but I kinda like it I like the whole water effect and I like the temple because I know how to play it now I could pretty much play it without much difficulty Also, the boss is pretty cool. Alright, shoot down those stalactites with your bomb arrows. And you don't need to shoot all of them down, but I did anyway. These guys right here, very annoying enemy. We can't do anything about them now. I don't even think we can attack them. Not until we get an item. Alright, uh, this is another optional one, but it's a good one to shoot down. Even if you don't really need to. Up here, we have a chest. And it contains 10 more water bombs. Although I think the maximum you can hold is 15. We did use a couple, so we got 5 more. I just like to keep my arrows out until we get the newest item. I don't want to have my bombs in the slot. Because I don't want to accidentally take out and throw a bomb. And I really don't want to have my red chew jelly in the slot. Because... I made that mistake with a fairy once, and I don't want to make it again. Um, here we have swirling water. You can actually jump down there and go around that uh, place, but it's kind of hard to get it back up, and once I just did it for fun, I figured out how, and it took me a while to figure out how to get back up. So if you want to explore everything, go for it. But if you don't want to get lost, don't go for it. Alright, um, this is the main room. Right down there is the entrance to the boss, but the water level is too low that we can't get up to it, and we don't have the key. So, that's what we basically have to do. I kind of like that the boss's room was right in the main room. Um, we have some pots. And over here, we also have some pots. Blue rupee. That brings our rupee count up to 238, down from very little. We get very little after we paid that guy for peace in Hyrule. We saw those enemies before right there. Those in the Goron mines, we saw them briefly in that water room, but we did see them, and I don't need to explain them. There's not much to explain. They're bouncing water bugs. Okay, we have more pots, and on the other side we have a chest. I know what it contains, but I didn't get it for a long time. Just because I didn't. I, For some reason, waited till a long time when it wasn't necessary to get it 
it's the dungeon map and I got it too late I don't use the dungeon maps I told you that I use the compasses I did get the compass don't use the dungeon map so I didn't bother going to look for it okay we don't need to go in there Ow. we can't do anything about that room I don't exactly know where to go but if I keep running around I will find it uh, we were here already you know we can't do anything um, we want to find a door I think it's actually not that way but yeah I think it's this way uh, if we could go that way it would be that way maybe you know what I think we have to do we can't do anything there get the arrows again this is probably right if we keep going this way here we go uh, as you can see that's the entrance to the boss right there be careful you don't fall into the water when you jump off but you want to jump and grab on to the yellow golden hook that'll turn the staircase around and we can run up to this side of the top and I think this is a locked door yes it is we need a key for that oh here smash that open we found Uku I have I am yet to use Uku but maybe some time I'll show off how she works although I don't really need it I haven't used it before and I don't recall that I used it in this dungeon it I mean her I don't think I've used her in the dun in this dungeon either I have in the past but you know if I'm playing the dungeons on a single run really what she's more used for for is if you want to reset the game if you want to turn the game off and you don't want to have to play the beginning part again then you can uku yourself out save and then uku yourself right back in but I'm I've made it my goal to play the entire dungeon on a single run, so what would I need Uku for? Unless I need to get out of the dungeon for some reason. I don't know why I would need that. <clears throat> Alright, this I think is the right way, and I think that's the right door. So we're finally making some progress. I hope you have a good sense of what that room is like. Another one of those shelled creatures. Can't do anything about it. I'll explain how to deal with them when we can.